So now I'm gonna select the armature and uh, you can either go here and go to pose mode or you can hit control tab. And now if I were to hit R to start rotating, you'll see that indeed the mesh has been uh, parented, uh, has been attached to the armature. Control Z, all right? Okay, so now I'm ready to start setting up uh, the IK. I'm just gonna do it on the legs here just to show you what's up. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna select the uh, IK target and the bone. Now this is the part, even I, I forget what, what is what. Uh, we're going to create some constraints here. You'll see some a constraint panel. You can add constraints through this, but I just find it easiest once you know the hotkey. Uh, it's just a matter of selecting the things in the right order. I think you select the target and then the bone that you want to be uh, controlled by IK, and then you hit Shift I, and it'll say Add IK to Active Bone. I think that's it, and then you'll see the bone that has a constraint. Uh, applied to it will turn. Oh, you know what? I turned. I forgot to turn deform off on these things. Uh, okay, I can do it right here. Another good thing about Blender is that uh, you don't. Have, it's not like in Lightwave where if, if you make a mistake like that, uh, you have to basically start over from scratch because things will get too messed up. Uh, here you can just turn off those things pretty easily. Uh, okay, I'm going to select that, and you'll see that that uh, bone has turned yellow because it has an IK constraint, and will go through the IK constraint uh, panel here and uh, right now it's kind of screwed things up because the IK chain is going up through the entire body so we'll just set the chain length to two it's only going to control two bones here so if I select this now and move it you'll see that IK is applied all right all right let's do the same thing here select the IK goal and then select the bone and then shift I and then chain length set to two in this case. All right. Now I'm going to want the feet to stay pinned uh, because right now you'll see that uh, because of the way we parented things, if I select the what I call the IK mover and move that, you'll see that it is. This is why I, I, I did this parenting the way I did in the beginning. If I select the main mover, this thing in the front, I can move the entire object. If I select this, I can control the IK movement of the hips and stuff, okay? And as you can see, the IK is extremely stable. It doesn't flip or anything, all right? So uh, I'm gonna add a rotation constraint on these feet so they don't go through the floor. And uh, let me see, I think you select the uh, the bone and then the target. And then you control all C. Uh oh, I have brought up same time, same time connect somehow. Control C. Nope. Unfortunately, my keyboard shortcuts are being co opted by another program. Uh, so I'll have to do it from. It's Control C will bring up a menu. It's much nicer. And uh, then you just go to copy rotation. All right. <clears throat> well, I guess it's a good way for me to show you the other way of, of doing this. Um, I didn't name any of these bones here, so I guess I'll have to do that now. I'll call this foot.l. I'll call this foot.r. I'll call this footik.r and footik.l. That way I'll be able to reference them. And I can see, I think I have, uh, I have made the mistake. I've selected these in the wrong order. The order you select them determines what's going on. Uh, actually, I don't have to. Uh, I'll just hit this X button here to delete that constraint. Since I'm doing it manually, I'll just select the uh, object I want this constraint applied to, copy rotation. And now we're gonna try and we have to type the uh, name in here manually. And uh, first under target, we have to select the armature. Uh, and so we have named it just plain old armature. So armature. when we hit enter, you'll he see this BO. It doesn't stand for body odor. It's, uh, I guess, something something object. And now, uh, let's see, the object is called foot IKL. I think we can just copy that and paste that in here. Yes, hit enter, okay? And so now when we rotate the uh, IK target, the foot gets uh, rotated as well, okay? All right, so we'll do the same thing for this one. 
we'll select the uh, foot and we'll copy the rotation. Target is armature and the bo the object is um, foot ik dot r. And as you can see, it uh, copies that rotation. So now when I select this, the foot uh, target, it is done correctly. And now that we have that done, um, let's go ahead and move this around. And as you can see, the feet stay planted. The, um, the feet are deforming kind of strangely because of the fact that uh, I had unfortunately forgotten to turn the deform off on those, those uh, controllers. But um, we can go in and weight paint those later. Let me go ahead and hit shift and uh, now I've got the translate and rotate controller so as you can see I can move this guy around and uh, all that and I can go ahead and move him in various different directions. I can move his, oops. You know I probably should have, uh, come to think of it, parented <coughs> the uh, spine to the IK mover instead. So uh, I'm going to hit tab to go back into my edit mode. You'll see here it says I'm in edit mode. And I will hit uh, Alt P to clear the parent. And I'll select this and hit Control P, keep offset, hit tab. Okay, so now I got that. That's what I wanted. I wanted to, uh, you can see when you reparent stuff, it doesn't screw up. So now I can make this guy like do a dance a little jig here because of the fact that his, um, torso and uh, his pelvis are separated from each other and uh, because they're both parented to, to this though when I move that they move along correctly all right so that is uh, and of course you can rotate these you can rotate the head later on I'll show you how to uh, uh, get the defor deformations looking nicer by uh, weight painting these targets but as you can see it's it's pretty nice uh, dealing with uh, all the stuff in blender um, and the oops move that by accident wanted to rotate as you can see um, and I'll get into all these buttons down here well, you know what they do and how to add a, put the armature pieces into various layers and stuff so that you can have a lot of control over but just in a few minutes here we were able to create uh, a fully functioning character uh, who does quite a lot you could do quite a bit of animation with this guy and uh, would it take us like you know 10 whole minutes to do this with me stopping to explain everything so it's quite a good good uh, feature and uh, I hope you get to enjoy using Blender.